Hi everybody, welcome to another Cast Saturday. Now last week we went after Team Rocket. We started with Jesse and this week we are going to be doing James. Now similar to Jesse, I wanted to keep the same backstory. So if you haven't seen that video, I suggest going and watching it. But long story short, I basically made up the backstory that they are like eccentric millionaires that are going after um, Ash, Misty, and Brock. And that's why they dress so extravagantly and kind of bougie, if you will. And, you know, whenever they're chasing them, they are chauffeured instead of walking because of giving Jesse high heeled like stiletto boots. And like she wears like a gown for her formal outfit. So that's kind of the backstory I gave them. However, Whenever I was doing some research on James because I could not figure out what his last name was. I researched for like 20 to 30 minutes trying to figure out his last name. I could not find it anywhere. I thought about using his Japanese name, but then I thought that wouldn't make sense. So in the end, I do end up giving him Jesse's last name because they're in the same household because I just could not find it. Um, however, whenever I was doing the research trying to find his last name, I kind of ended up stumbling on his regular backstory which is kind of funny to me because I didn't realize that in the show whenever James is a child he is a child of millionaires so he already had that backstory however whenever he gets older he ends up leaving because he doesn't like that lifestyle and I was like I just couldn't believe it because I was like why did I not remember that from the show like granted I don't remember a lot of stuff from the show because this whole thing is based off of the show back from the like 90s and 2000s so I wouldn't remember every single detail about the show but whenever I saw some pictures from whenever he was a child and he was wearing like a little blue suit I'm like oh my gosh of course I remember that but for the purpose of this whole cast Saturday and you know what I'm creating we're just gonna go with my backstory we're going to stick with the whole concept that they are you know eccentric millionaires they deserve or they believe that they deserve everything and they don't understand why they just won't be given the pokemon that they want from ash and we're just going to roll with it because i already created it for jesse i didn't look into her backstory which apparently she was from foster care she had a mother that was you know part of the team rocket brand i guess and she went on the search for Mew and then Jesse got put into foster care and that's kind of how her and James met. So obviously I didn't do my research but you know what I did basically tell you in Jesse's um, Cast Saturday video that I did not do any research. I did not look for pictures for her anything because I was just over it whenever it came to looking at pictures and trying to find ideas, you know, for what they wore in the show because there's not that much. And especially whenever it came to Team Rocket, they just wear the same thing all the time. They don't change anything. So that was my bad. I may have dropped the ball on the research, um, you know, whenever it came to them. But here we are. I found the backstory and we're just not going to go with it anyways. So that's what we're doing. But... We are in this cast Saturday. We're sticking with my backstory. And I am super happy with how they turned out. I'm not going to lie. And I know I say that with every video that I create. But it's hard to create, you know, cartoon characters in The Sims and do something like identical to, to what they were in the cartoons. So I'm happy with what I came up with. You guys might not agree, but I'm happy with it. So to get into the actual video... Now, um, I basically just stuck with the same thing that I did with Jesse and with um, Ash, Misty, and Brock, which, by the way, they were created all on my channel. If you are interested, I highly recommend you go back and watch some of those videos just because they were done prior to James. He is our last Pokemon trainer, and then we will be moving on to something else whenever it comes to our Cast Saturday videos. Um, it might be cast related. It might not. You know, we'll see from here on out where it goes. But um, I stuck with the same color wheel that I did with all of, you know, my previous videos. They are basically for Team Rocket, white and red. Um, I think I also gave him purple because of his hair. 
which is iconic so obviously I had to give him that and then as for his aspiration I gave him the same aspiration as Jesse because I figured they're on the same team they should have the same goal and then I did give him the high maintenance the evil and the self-absorbed trait um I don't think they're identical to Jesse but some of them do overlap but I just figured they, they had to be somewhat similar um on some of the research that I did stumble upon it says that he's the more light-hearted of the team rocket um, out of the two of them and I originally thought that I could have given him the erratic trait which I did think about doing um, but in the end I just went with the traits that I have above here so I'm pretty happy with how it how it turned out um but you know if you do end up downloading them you can always change those traits more power to you if you wanted to do that I do upload all of these on my sims 4 gallery FYI um, I might be like a day or two late just because of how my work schedule is, but I definitely try to make sure that they are uploaded on the gallery. So um, like I said, I did stick with their color wheel. I basically just went with white um, and I did do the same thing with James that I did with Jesse, that he's kind of a germaphobe as well. Um, so he has gloves on for every single outfit except for his sleepwear, which yes, that also means that he has gloves on for his swimwear. It doesn't make sense but it makes me giggle. So that's what we're going to do. And that's what we're sticking with. But for all of his outfits, they're pretty, pretty similar. Um, I know with Jesse's, I feel like I, hers were almost identical, like to the T, which kind of annoys me because it doesn't make these videos very interesting or very entertaining. But like I said, very limited whenever it comes to stuff in The Sims. So, you know, we got to work with what we're given. Now, as for formal wear, for Jessie, I gave her a long gown, which again, doesn't make very much sense, but with our backstory, it does. So for James, I wanted to do something similar. I wanted to make sure he was very dapper. And I loved the idea of, you know, an all white suit. And then I recently downloaded the Realm of Magic and the Vampire Packs. And um, I specifically actually downloaded that because I did the goth house on my Wednesday video. So go check that out if you're interested. But it had that vest with the little chain and I thought that was perfect. I just loved it. He just looked so dapper. So I definitely took advantage and used that for his um, his top for his formal wear. And then into his activewear, I loved this top. And I also kind of love that it already had gloves with it. Um, but I do end up changing it and I think I do end up using it for his cold weather wear instead but it just looked so cool and it looked like it was very like high end or name brand for him so I definitely wanted to keep that in the back of my head and use it in one of his outfits and I really really liked this top I loved it in the white and the red so I do end up keeping it for red for him and then I do actually use oh I use CC pants I didn't I forgot that I used that I thought I only use CC shoes, but I obviously use CC pants for him because I really like the idea that his pants look like they're tucked into his boots. And then we are moving on to his sleepwear. Originally, I really, really liked the idea of giving him bunny slippers. And I'm like, oh, maybe they're like a Pokemon that are on the front of his slippers, which I'm sure there's like a bunny Pokemon. There are so many Pokemon that are out right now, guys. I don't know half of them if I'm being completely honest. Um, but then I decided to give him these fuzzy slippers because I loved the red accent that it had on them. But the bunny slippers would have been a really cute idea too, I'm not going to lie. And then as for his party wear, originally I really liked that across button thing, but it kind of gave me like cook or like chef vibes, which that is not James. Didn't, didn't want to give it off that vibe whenever it came to James. So um, I just tried to find a different um, white top and I do believe I just go with, it's kind of more of like a very light gray than a white, um, but it's like a white turtleneck. It's very fitted with long sleeves and I don't know, it just spoke expensive to me. Like that would be a very expensive material that he would be wearing. Um, and then I do believe I just give him his white cargo pants as well. Um, so I, I pretty much stick with the cargo pants throughout every outfit along with his black gloves and black boots. Not a whole lot of that uh, changes throughout his, um, his outfits. I do kind of almost wish I would have given him like some ripped jeans like I tried there for his party wear just to make it look a little bit more updated. Um, but you know, I was trying to stick with what he looked like in the cartoons, but like a little bit updated 
or modernized, if you will. As for his swimwear, I just gave him some red shorts just to go with like the Team Rocket logo. And don't you just love whenever you load in a sim for their hot weather wear and they have everything on them. Like every single article of clothing, they have some type of hat, they have sunglasses, they have earrings, they have nose piercings, they have bracelets, they have wild shoes. And I'm just like, Sims team. I understand that whenever seasons came, you didn't want to like add all that stuff onto, you know, for their hot weather and cold weather. But man, they they load with a ton of stuff. Um, so love when that happens. And then you have to go through and just undress them basically. So anyways... Now that that rant is done, originally I really liked the idea to use this top because it's kind of see-through or at least in my head it's supposed to be see-through on those like darker parts and I was like oh that would be kind of cool like kind of edgy. Then I thought about this top because it has a red scarf and he's kind of like you know fancy like I could see him like just throwing that over his shoulder you know being all sassy and I ended up just going with something a little more plain and boring I know I'm sorry Team Rocket they're very boring um and then but actually now that I think about it I think I use a CC top I didn't think I used very much CC whenever it came to James but apparently I'm a liar because now as I watch it as I'm going through and editing this I definitely use more CC than I thought but it's pretty much all the same CC so it's not that bad but I think I just go and do a basic top. Here I am going through and checking out um, some of the newer stuff that I got with Realm of Magic and Vampires and thinking maybe some of that could work, but some of it's a little bit too, um, it's very era specific looking. We definitely are not trying to go for that type of look for James. Um, and then I do believe I put him in that open front uh, white like button down. But I end up changing that because I'm like, no, I don't think that speaks very James to me. So we end up changing that later on. Um, here is where I use that shirt that I love for his winter wear. And I do put the black gloves under it because they don't cover his hands enough. So it does look a little wonky, but I'm not mad at it. And I did go back and try to give him shorts because I'm like, boy's going to be hot in that weather. However... I put him back in his cargo pants because he has to look like James from Team Rocket. So that's what I do. And let's take a look at his final outfits. Here is his everyday wear, formal wear, active wear, sleep wear, party wear, swim wear, hot weather and cold weather. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for next week's Cast Saturday and I hope you have a great day. Bye guys.